Well, what's she like? Oh, she's just one of those women, you know. If you like football, you must be a yob. Bollocks. Is she fit? Not that you'd prove her point or anything. What? What? What have I done? It's a perfectly reasonable, straightforward question. She's not unattractive, but so what, you know? A, she hates me, B, I hate her, and C... What's the point of all that anyway? It's a waste of fucking time. Ooh, sounds promising, then. It must be terrible being that miserable. Having to sit in a corner and scowl and pretend to only care about football results because the world's a terrible place and what's the point of it all anyway? Well, what is the point of it all? Who knows? Maybe it is football results. I won't worry about it, though. He's a sad and lonely bastard. Who cares what made him that way? Where's your brother? Hey? He's over there. Oi! Number nine! You're a donkey! You have a trial with someone, would you? Yeah. Orient. They offered him a contract as well. What happened? Turned it down. Stupid sod said it was too risky. What's he doing now? Uh, runs his own business. Computer something. It's only about 50 grand a year. Not sort of 50 grand a year for a contract with Orient. So would I. Don't even like Orient. Neither do I. Gets it both ways, though, doesn't he? Gets 50 grand a year, gets to play at a place with floodlights. Floodlights and a tea bar. I'd love to play at a place with a tea bar. Yeah. A bit late now, huh? Don't know. Stanley Matthews played first division football till he was 50. I bet you any money you like, you're not playing first division football when you're 50. No, well, it's the smoking. It's not the smoking, Steve, it's the crackness. Penalty! Yeah! Hold that. I've always wanted to do this. Anthropologists have always had a hard time with football. The trouble is, you can only see what's on the outside. But there is an inside, believe it or not. We all have our reasons for loving things the way we do. And that's a terrible foul by McClintock on Rokas. I'd be lucky to stay on the pitch after that. It wasn't that bad. It looked bad, I admit, but it was mistiming. It wasn't malicious. Bollocks. So, that's a free kick to 1989 Arsenal, and Davis takes it. And... Go! And that's 1989 Arsenal 4, 1971 Arsenal 0. Poor Bob Wilson will be bitterly disappointed with that one. Oh, this lot would never beat the double team 4 0 at Subbutte. It's just come crap at it. We well, should have chosen to be someone else then. Who else used to play in yellow and blue away strip? Everton. What's it be Everton then? Okay. But this game's abandoned. I can't start suddenly pretending that John Bradford's Joe Royal would do me head in. I have to start again. 0 0. Yeah, all right, go on. Yes. I'll tell you, Steve, it makes a difference the way you think about things. Like? Well, like today, right? I want us to win. Right, and we'll be so far. And I think we will. Well, that's new. Home to Norwich should usually be predicting, what, 2-0 defeat? 0-0, nil -nil, maybe, if he was really on top of the world. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. No, still four games left, 12 points to be won. No, that's not, not what I mean. I mean, I mean, if we don't win the league this season, I'll cope, because it's Sarah and the baby. You know, because when you've got nothing else going on, Arsenal fill all the gaps. And you end up getting in a state about losing to Spurs, when, when really you should be getting in a state about yourself. Well, we won't win today. Sun's out, I'm going to be a father. Alan Smith's back. 5-0, no trouble. You stick with me, kids. No way we won't win the league now. Oh, it's all you, is it? Nothing to do with George or Smithy or Rocky or me buying the bloody sugar mice before every game. Well, that's what it feels like. Don't you ever get feelings like that? Yeah. 
I felt brilliant the day we got knocked out of the League Cup by Walsall. Do you remember that? Got a pay rise. Got off with Carolyn Walsh the night before. That lot of fucking notice this lot took, though. Well, that's it, see? Some of us have got it, some of us haven't. All I can say is he must have had a pretty shitty life in the last 18 years, given our record. Right, well, maybe I haven't had it all the time, but I'll tell you, I've got it this season in spades. When was the last time you felt this nervous about a league game? I don't know. 1971, I should think. Two home wins could be champions Tuesday night, imagine. What are we going to do? Drink, I expect. Yeah. I can't think about it in bed at night, otherwise I can't sleep. Champions! <laughs> you have to tell you about everything you ever said about it. Yeah, I will. Tuesday night. This is the worst day of my life. 18 fucking years and they blow it on the last weekend of the season. Oh, come on, Paul, it's only half time. It's only 1 0. Doesn't matter. They've blown it. Knew they would, didn't they? Useless bastards. We should be there. Yeah, well, you were the one who said it wasn't worth the hassle. Didn't know it was going to be the title decider, though, did I? Anyway, imagine all those scouts are celebrating. I'll be down here with my own people. Person. Thank you. Oh, sorry. This could be danger for Liverpool here. Oh! Oh, no! That was it. That was our chance. Hey? No, there'll be others. Oh, you reckon? I don't. And Arsenal within a whisker of getting the goal they so desperately wanted early in this game. Let's go out. You're kidding. Oh, let's go get hammered. Forget all about it. I'm watching till the end. I can't do that, sorry. Sit down. There's no point! Not for a minute, I'll just... Stay to half time. Deeks and everyone's looking very close to him at the moment. But he's beginning to get the mood of this game. I'll just see what they've got to say. Doing OK, aren't we? But what's the use of OK? Might as well be losing 8 0. I don't think that's really true, Paul, is it? I'd say if you want to win a game 2 0, you've got more chance if it's 0 0 at half time than you have if you're eight goals down. Do you see where I'm coming from? You're living in cloud cuckoo land. Join the real world. In the real world, it's nil-nil at half-time. Might as well be 8 nil. Jesus, Paul, you need medical help. You've got some kind of disease that turns people into miserable bastards. Anyway, you staying? No. So it's a couple of minutes to the second half. Right, that's it. I've had enough. I'm off. Good. Fucking good riddance. Are you coming? No. It's my flat. Yeah, will you try getting me out of it? Negativity and doubt, but on the inside, I mean, you've got to believe, haven't you?